Did you know mosquitoes sing to each other? They do that with their wings to recognize a mate. I'm Bob Killick Kendrick, and I'm a parasitologist, and I'm your host for this fifth episode of What's Biting My Dog? We all know the nagging sound of mosquitoes buzzing around our heads when we're trying to sleep. Mosquitoes feed on nectar, but the female also needs blood to develop her eggs. And because of this blood-sucking habit, mosquitoes are by far the most deadly vectors of disease known to man. Mosquitoes can carry disease-causing viruses and parasites from person to person without suffering from the disease themselves. Female mosquitoes suck blood from people and other animals as part of their eating and breeding habits. When a mosquito bites, she also injects saliva and anti-clotting agents into the skin, which may contain disease-causing viruses or other parasites. This cycle can be interrupted by killing the mosquitoes, isolating infected people from all mosquitoes while they're infectious, or vaccinating the exposed population. All three techniques have been used, often in combination, to control some of the mosquito-transmitted diseases. Although in many countries mosquitoes are mostly an annoying nuisance, they're estimated to transmit disease to more than 700 billion people annually in Africa, South America, Central America, Mexico and much of Asia with millions of resulting deaths. The most well-known and devastating disease transmitted by mosquitoes is no doubt malaria with more than 5 million deaths per year. But other diseases like yellow fever, dengue fever, West Nile virus and encephalitis are also caused by the bites of infected mosquitoes. Dogs can also be infected by the bites of mosquitoes. The most commonly known one is infection by the heartworm parasite. This infection can be treated by a veterinarian if diagnosed in time. Ask your veterinarian about more information on mosquito-borne diseases of dogs. Protect yourself from mosquito bites with a good repellent. And if you can, sleep under a mosquito net. And avoid places where mosquitoes are really active, especially at dusk and dawn. Don't forget your dog. With an anti-parasitic product, you can reduce the risk of your dog being bitten by mosquitoes. Would you like to know how many people get leishmaniasis in the world? We'll be talking about that in the next episode of What's Biting My Dog. <laughs>